get back to the barky. The handball this time, and the barky, Jarney, my Fox Cub 18. So, it's August, I'm a farmer, and the weather this weekend happens to be no good for combining whatsoever. Oh, what a shame, I'll have to be a leisure sailor for a little bit. Right, I'm out here, in the Solent, in the dark, on my own. That's a pilot boat. And, I don't know if you can see this, that is a fucking leviathan. I watched it slowly make its turn. I knew where it was going to go, but still bloody daunting. Now that's cows where I've got to get to, but I'm taking a wide berth around this beast. That is absolutely mahoosive. Here I am coming into cows. Stink boat nearly fucking run me down. And there's another monster. The passenger ferry or the, the Isle of Wight ferry. It's certainly an adventure. On my own. It's alright. Got a depth sounder, got a beer. It's fine. It's fine. Here's a bit of my passage planning for you. This is the Navionics track of that night crossing I made. So if you ever want to sail in the Solent, the biggest hazard by far is the shipping that's bound in for Southampton. There's some huge container ships and car transporters. Most of these enter the Solent from the east. They then make a dog leg round the Bramble Bank, which is bang in the middle of this picture, in the middle of the Solent. So my strategy here was to stick to the western side of the main channel. The quickest route here would have been to go straight across close to the Bramble Bank. However, this is not the safest, safest option because should I have broken down, I would have drifted potentially across the route of the shipping round that dog leg. By staying on the downstream side of the dog leg and the channel, should I have conked the motor out, then um, I would have just drifted into the quieter western Solent and not across the paths of the monsters. Newport Visitor Pontoon. £11 to moor here for the night on my little boat. Pretty reasonable. A fine town to stay in for those who don't mind taking the bottom. Even fin keelers, if you're brave, can lean against the quayside wall further up. Lovely town with all the facilities you could ask for. re the boat now with booze and bacon. But I forgot my face mask so I've wrapped this t-shirt around my head. This was the next day leaving cows. You can see here my mainsail. I've gone loose footed in order to get a bit more belly in the sail. Something I've learnt from the uh, mirror dinghy sailing actually. Dinghy sailing's improving my yacht sailing already. So uh, yeah, it's not much wind today and pretty bad visibility as you can see. There's my beautiful barky at the Visitor Anchorage in Bembridge. You can anchor here for £10 a night. It's lovely, right on the sandy beach. Not a particularly nice day today, but it's still warm as it's August.
So that night, I got fish and chips and found a pub, the Old Village Inn, it was called. It was absolutely rammed, full of people, despite the coronavirus. So I had a few beers, and I got chatting to the locals, something that I find easier to do sometimes when you're solo than when you're with a mate, which is good. In the morning, I went for a stroll round the headland of Bembridge Harbour and had a bit of an explore, which was great fun. I left around mid-morning and had to basically motor all the way back to the River Hamble, where I launched. So all in all this weekend, not a lot of sailing and quite a lot of motoring. Despite this, I still achieved my first solo night crossing of the Solent and my first solo fog navigation, really. So all in all, a good weekend away solo sailing. Love it.